Robert Selder here and today I want to go ahead and review this Model TX-11 tactical flashlight made by Night Provision. Uh, first thing off is the packaging, very nice box here and uh, it even has some of the specs. So it is 1000 lumen which is very uh, powerful. Runtime of 1200 hours depending once again on your setting and there are six total settings that I'll share with you in a minute. Uh, the throw distance on the beam is 223 meters. The uh, candle intensity as far as the beam is 12,500. Uh, impact resistance up to 1.2 meters, so pretty good for those of us that drop things often. And IPX-8 waterproof, uh, which is uh, excellent. All right, so now we can go inside and get into the, uh, the good stuff here. So first thing I want to do is share this uh, the holder or the sheath or whatever you want to call it. And the uh, first thing that I noticed was the quality of it. Very good quality compared to a lot of the options that are out there. Uh, back here you have a little snap, snap that you can undo. Uh, it'll go right onto your belt or clip onto your Molly setup, uh, whatever you actually want to use it for. Uh, it also comes with a lanyard. Um, that's not something that I regularly use, but if you do, there's a couple places on the flashlight itself to attach it. And inside it also comes with a couple other goodies that uh, other uh, flashlights in this class uh, do not come with. So I was very impressed with that. It comes with an extra power button, which is the actual button on the back. Uh, that does tend to wear out over time, and a couple O-rings, right, which will help you with your uh, keeping and maintaining the uh, flashlight as far as waterproof. All right, so those little extras right there uh, tell me a lot about um, Night Provision themselves. Obviously, they're uh, trying to make their customers happy, and they want to be around for a while. So uh, those are the kind of companies that I like to uh, get behind, so to speak, and share the information um, with uh, my subscribers. So now getting into the actual flashlight. Uh, first thing that I noticed when I uh, did pick up this flashlight was the construction of it. It feels real deal. It feels like a legit flashlight, not some little uh, tinkering toy uh, made of plastic. So it is uh, made of aircraft uh, aluminum, uh, military grade. Uh, so that's pretty good to go. And uh, just a lot of cool extras that there is uh, in, in here. It's a two part construction. So it actually comes apart here and also comes apart back here which strengthens basically the, uh, the form factor and the structure of the flashlight. So that's pretty good to go. There's actually two springs, one in the back, one in the front. So that'll definitely help with vibration, especially if this is mounted on your AR or uh, any kind of uh, tactical rifle or tactical firearm. So uh, those little extras, once again, bode really well. Sometimes you don't think about it until it's time to use or you think about other tactical flashlights that you own that do not have these similar specs and uh, you end up growing to appreciate it. Now, when I think about these smaller tactical flashlights, I always think about a de self-defense application. Uh, it's a big part of what I do. It's a big part of who I am. So, of course, I'm always, uh, when I'm reviewing these type of, uh, of products or gear, uh, I'm always looking at how does this feel in a hand? How does this fit in a hand? How comfortable would I be if I actually had to deploy it? And then once again, of course, I put it through the test, which we'll get into a little bit later. Uh, so once again, the way that this feels for somebody like me that sweats often, and especially if you're in some kind of, uh, you know, situation, it's an emergency situation, or you need to defend yourself or a family member, you're probably going to sweat and, uh, you know, get nervous, all that other stuff. So it's really good to have this texture type grip here uh, that really makes it... Um, Stay in your hand, all right, will be because of uh, giving you some type of friction, some type of traction, so that it feels good. It's not going to slip off. It's going to let you do what you need to do with it. And also just in the regular operating uh, purposes, if you're using it for security work or law enforcement, so on and so forth, you know, those same uh, uh, assets, let's say, or features, you know, do bode well for you when you're just trying to operate it, uh, you know, during your regular tour. Uh, the other thing is it has a removable clip here. All right, so you have different options on where you could put it and moving it around and so on and so forth. So keep that in mind. And I love this beveled edge that we have here, which is uh, you know pretty cool, especially when you're looking at uh, a self-defense application. Because not only can you drive it in, but you can twist. Drive it in and twist. And that does not feel good, even on my knuckle right now where I just tapped it lightly. Um, keep in mind that the LED is uh, American-made. It's a Crete XPL HD. So uh, very bright and one of pretty much the best options that are out there as far as I know. Uh, so uh, that's always uh, good to go as far as specs. The batteries itself, you can use two of the CR123 Alpha uh, or you can use one 18650 uh, rechargeable lithium ion battery. So that's pretty cool because uh, most of my tactical flashlights do operate with the same type of batteries. So I can go ahead and just share the batteries and don't need to go out and buy new chargers and so on and so forth to be able to utilize this tactical flashlight TX11 effectively.
So now as far as operating, okay, as I said here, we have a power button on the back and we pretty much have a toggle switch here on the front. So if I were to turn on the button in the back just by pressing it, okay, now it's on. It's basically on, I think they call it a firefly setting, which is a very, very low setting. But then from here, what you can do is go ahead and change that intensity. So there's one, a little brighter, two, three, four, five, all right? That being the thousand loom. And if I were to just hold this side button down, it'll give you the strobe feature. Now what happens is once you go back here and hit the power button again, it remembers the last setting that you had in there. So since our last setting was the strobe, when I do turn on a power light again, it's gonna go right to the strobe. Okay, so always keep that in mind. Whatever your last setting was, that's where it's going to default to when you hit that power button. Once again, just to not blind you, I lowered it back down to the Firefly setting. So if I were to go up one more, let's say, and I were to turn it off, turn it back on, I'm on that last setting. So that's a pretty cool feature. Now there's also a, a battery saving mode. So it's basically a, a smart switch that's inside of here as far as the circuitry. So when the battery does start to die on you, it'll uh, flash three times, start giving you a warning. It'll also power itself down. If you have, have it on the higher setting, it'll kind of just keep going to the lower setting uh, as far as intensity so that it could kind, kind of uh, save your battery along the way. So that's pretty cool because that's not a feature that I've seen, uh, as I said, in a lot of these smaller tactical flashlights. Um, so once again, another reason why I think this flashlight's good to go. Keep in mind that it is a thousand lumen, so it gets very hot. There's even a little warning right up here saying hot surface. So if you do keep it on for a while, this part here is definitely going to get hot. Now, as far as some other specs, it's uh, about seven inches long and it weighs in at about 6.4 ounces. Uh, but keep in mind that I will put a lot more of the specs that I uh, didn't go over in this uh, video review on my blog post. So make sure you check out the blog post for more detail. Another great thing about Night Provision is that they offer you a five year limited warranty, lifetime warranty. So that's pretty cool. So unless you do something to it yourself uh, and of course abuse it or whatever, you know, obviously they're not gonna replace that. But if there is failure or something that's structurally wrong with your flashlight itself, you're getting a five year warranty. So that kind of tells you what you're dealing with here because I don't really see that with the other flashlights. Sometimes I'm lucky to get 30 days out of it as far as a warranty. And then after that, they kind of want nothing to do with you. So you're talking about a company here that wants to stay around, uh, wants your business, and uh, of course, are willing to stand behind their product. So, you know, for me, that definitely makes it good to go. Definitely gives it a thumbs up. And if you are in the market for a tactical flashlight and uh, something that's not just a uh, stocking stuffer, so to speak, something that's going to work for you and something that's not going to let you...